Do you know the name Akio Toyota? You should. He's in charge of Toyota globally, and he wants you to realize his cars are not boring. You have a great entry-level sports car in the GT86. The Supra is maligned for reasons that make sense, but it's still very much a fun car to drive. The Lexus GSF was a blast up until its demise in 2020, and the LC500 at the top of the rung is a legit stunner of a Grand Tourer that makes better noise than the C8 Corvette. Toyota and Lexus are making cars that are more engaging to drive than it gets credit for. Hell, you can even buy a 301 horsepower having Camry, and it can even get a rear wing if you get the TRD version. The RAV4 Prime, it's the second quickest Toyota available since it runs from 0 to 60 in 5.4 seconds. It makes 302 horsepower. That's just fun. Can we still call Toyota vehicles boring? Some of them might be, but they fit their respective bills as perfectly fine daily drivers for the masses. If you take a closer look at this lineup, though, there's plenty of fun to be had from the Corolla on up to the top spec Lexus products. One of my favorite brake stands I've ever done was in a Lexus LS Hybrid. And we're talking about a family of cars that doesn't include the amazing sounding GR Yaris that we can't even get here in the States. And then you have this, the 2021 Lexus RCF. This is the Fuji edition. It replaces last year's track edition and they're only making 60 of these. It's not the best in its segment, but it is a damn good option. It manages to be both a sports car and a Lexus at the same time because it's comfortable. And then you press the drive mode selector, put it in sport or sport plus and do this. Now we can't hammer too much because of course the week we have this car, Southern California is getting one heck of a rainstorm, which it normally doesn't get. That's why we started shooting this whole thing in a parking garage to tell you about why Toyota and Lexus actually make sporty vehicles. It's not as precise as any of the German offerings, but it is comfortable. It is a sporty car you can live with on a daily basis, and it looks awesome and insane on the outside, and it's nice and comfortable, and the red interior here looks great. It is still a Lexus. It's just one that makes really good noise once you rise above 2,500 to 3,000 RPM. The gearbox is a little bit slower than I'd like, but the brakes are fantastic. The steering feel is great, even though it's a bit heavier. So it's there are some compromises to keep it that it's still a Lexus, but it is absolutely fun to drive and to look at. And this goes back to what I was saying in the beginning, where Akio Toyota wants you to think of Toyota and Lexus vehicles as enjoyable. They're not boring. Some of them can be boring, of course, but any automaker's lineup can be that way. This one is fun and it is proof that fun exists in the brand. I've actually seen Akio Toyota in person and you know where it was? It was at the Nürburgring in Germany. I was there for the 24 hours of Nürburgring. This was after the race was over. There's a bar in the Dorit Hotel where all the race car drivers and other auto industry people gather and he was there having drinks with one of the guys from Aston Martin and they were talking about cars. He loves cars. He's a true car person and he was there to watch motorsport. So the next time someone says, ah, Toyota makes nothing but boring cars, remind them that the GR Yaris exists, the Camry with 300 horsepower exists, the RAV4 Prime has 302 horsepower, and then Lexus has, uh, the IS is a sporty entry-level sedan, the RCF is excellent, the LC500 is just a stunning grand tourer, and the GT86 is the entry-level sports car that is a perfect place for rear-wheel drive lovers to get started. Even a regular Corolla hatchback is kind of a sweet car, especially when you modify it and make it fun. And Toyota is participating in all forms of motorsports. They're doing great in the Formula Drift world. They have Super GT racing in Japan. They used to be dominant in off-road super stadium truck style racing back in the Ivan Stewart days. There's, there's a lot to enjoy about Toyota, motorsports, sporty cars, and fun. Toyotas are not boring, you're boring.